In this video for positive maths, we're going to learn about depreciation. So far, we've been talking about increasing quantities of money when interest is added on. So, for example, investments and loans. Now we will look at instances where the quantity of money decreases at a certain rate over time. And this is called depreciation. Let's take an example of a couch that has been bought for €600. Euro. If it depreciates in value by 30% a year, let's see what its value will be after three years. So, at the end of the first year, it's going to be 600 multiplied by 0 0.7. So, the 0 0.7 is 70% of the original value. So, 600 multiplied by 0 0.7. At the end of the second year, we're going to find 70% of the value from the first year. So it's going to be 600 multiplied by 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.7 again. And at the end of the third year, we're going to be finding 70%, so again, by multiplying it by 0 0.7, of the value from the second year. So 600 by 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 by 0 0.7. So at the end of three years, the value is 600 multiplied by 0 0.7 to the power of 3. If we continue with this same pattern, how will we write the equation for the value of the couch after seven years? So we're noticing that the power 3 is the number of years. So after seven years, the value is going to be 600 multiplied by 0 0.7 to the power of 7. So, one other thing to notice here. We're multiplying it by 0 0.7 because we're finding the remaining percentage. So, we're finding 70% after it decreased by 30%. So, we must make sure that we don't mix it up and we don't find the value that it has decreased. So, we shouldn't be finding 600 multiplied by 0 0.3. We're finding 600 multiplied by 0 0.7. Some products depreciate in value over time. So let's look at the value of a car as an example. If a car decreases in value by 10%, then the car will be worth 90% of the original value. So Declan bought a car for €23,000. The car will depreciate in value by 15% every year. So if Declan intends to sell the car in three years, how much should he expect to sell the car for? So we are going to be looking for 23,000 multiplied by, it's going to be 0 0.85 to the power of 3. So let's just discuss this 0 0.85. If it started off with 100% value and it's decreasing by 15%, then we're going to be left with 85%. So 85% in decimal form is 0 0.85. So that's why we're multiplying 23,000 by 0 0.85. And then it's for three years, so it's to the power of three. Okay, so it's going to be 23000 0, 0, 0, multiplied by 0 0.614125. So we get 14,124.875. So he should expect to sell his car for €14,124.88. So again, just noting we always have to use our units, and when we're dealing with money, we always round to two decimal places. For more information, visit www.positivemaths.ie, email us at info at and find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.